Hi, everyone. My name is Delal Serda. I am a professor of English here at College of the Mainland, and I want to talk to you about the academic symposium, the GCSE academic symposium that we host every spring here at College of the Mainland. It is free and open to all of our College of the Mainland students, but also all students in the surrounding area, whether you are a community college student, dual credit student, early college student, university student. So let's let's see where we can get more information. So this is the College of the Mainland homepage. If you go to cur current students and scroll down to academics, this is a GCSE academic symposium page. This website strives to be very uh, thorough. So if there are any questions that we leave unanswered, please contact me, Delel Serda, or uh, Dr. Shinya Wakao, my co-chair, and he is the chair of the social behavioral sciences here at College of the Mainland. So both of us are very enthusiastic about helping all students, whether you are a comm student or any other surrounding uh, regional student. So this event is uh, open to everybody, as I said before, it is not associated with any kind of honors program. And uh, it is for independent scholars and students who are interested in presenting course level work. So that means projects that, that uh, you have developed for a specific course or perhaps projects that you have developed on your own, uh, whether those are creative or academic or a combination of both. We are very open to anything that you have in mind. Um, this is also an appropriate place to present work that you are doing for perhaps your major um, and it's also a place to present passion work, so projects that are not associated with any kind of college uh, work, but that you are working on your own. It is not a requirement to have an advisor, but if you do have an advisor or if you have somebody that you go to to ask questions for guidance, then uh, you can use that person's name here also. But it's not a requirement. I should make that clear. Uh, so every spring we, we host this event. This year, it is April 1st, that's a Friday, 2022, from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We ask that if you can be here all day, it is ideal because you have, uh, as an audience member, you get a, a, a real idea of what this event is and you get an array, access to an array of presentations, an array of ideas. If you are a student presenter and your work is accepted into uh, this symposium, then we require that you stay all day. The theme for this year is reimagining adaptation and the abstract submission deadline is Friday 25th, 2022 at 11.59 p.m., so midnight. Uh, we provide a lengthier than one line, a lengthy um, thematic description that helps students think through what is possible with this very abstract uh, theme, reimagining adaptation. It is purposely abstract because we want students from every discipline, from every uh, place in uh, the university, every place in the college, every place intellectually and creatively to feel at home within this theme. So this thematic description strives to help students think through what might be possible here. And we ask for students who are submitting abstracts to link their work explicitly with the language of the abstract uh, to the theme, even if the, the thematic link is uh, indirect or loose, or, or perhaps it's very direct. Either way, it's fine with us. We just want you to do the additional task, the additional uh, step of connecting your work to this broader theme. So once more, I won't read all of this to you because I know that all of you, um, we value time and we don't want this video to be too long, but you, I hope, I hope that you will read through it and think through what we are asking you to think through. All of this is meant to get you thinking. Uh, I say this word a lot. Um, you are not bound to anything that we've said here. It's just uh, a, a way to model some of the questions and some of the, uh, the lines of thought that might be appropriate for you. Uh, so we encourage you to read through all of that. So question that some of you might have is what is an abstract? An abstract is a 200 to 250, 300 word summary that describes a bigger project. Students who are accepted into this into the symposium are expected to provide a about a 13 minute presentation, verbal presentation uh, that helps describe that bigger project. What are the what is the research? What is the context? What is the creative or research context, or perhaps both? Uh, what is the argument? What is the point? What is it that uh, that you learned or you analyzed or you concluded from doing this work? Share all that with us. That is that is the the 
presentation that we're looking for. Now, um, we also have been archiving programs for, for the last five years. And so any of these are clickable PDFs. Uh, you can click on them and get a sense of the day's event. This is the last uh, symposium, unfortunately. Everything was ready to go and we had to cancel it due to COVID, but we published the program because students were ready to go. And so we, we knew that they deserved to have their name published and to have their work and the scope of their work published. So let's take a look at that. If you look at the day's event, you'll see that there are typically multiple sessions happening at the same time. And so one session is one hour long, it's in one classroom and down the hall, there are other sessions happening at the same time. Each of these uh, sessions are, as I said, one hour long, and each student has about 13 minutes to present. So one presenter followed by another presenter followed by another presenter, and then there's a Q&A at the end. Uh, and if you're an, an audience member, we highly encourage you to think as you're listening and to jot down some questions because the students love the Q&A after they after the pressure of presenting is over and they have presented their work it is very very uplifting to engage in, in in good quality conversation regarding the ideas and the research and the work and the presentations with audience members so i encourage you if you're an audience member to definitely write down questions for student presenters in the session that you are attending so um, if you're an audience member, you, you get this program and you read through all of the uh, titles and then you probably want to learn more about uh, the content of the presentations and you can do so by reading the abstracts and we publish all these abstracts. We only lightly edit them uh, to preserve the student's um, intellectual property. So you can see how students have responded to past themes and how they've described their projects by reading through these abstracts. Yeah, so those are resources for you. And of course, the, the writing center and the, and the tutors at the writing center are absolutely willing and happy and, and wanting to help students think through those abstracts and, and sharpen the writing so that they uh, increase their uh, chances to get admitted into the symposium. Um, okay, and then I'll, I'll briefly mention that there are, uh, so these sessions are um, juried by faculty members acting as judges, and they are moderated by staff and faculty members here at College of Mainland acting as moderators. And for any um, faculty or staff from any other colleges that ha might happen to be watching this video, uh, please contact me if you would like to uh, participate as a moderator or a judge. We're always happy to have you. Um, the, the top six presenters will go home with a, a, a mini little um, scholarship, which is just uh, a bonus. The, the heart of the symposium is the student presentations. Uh, we shouldn't really um, consider this to be the end goal. The end goal is to talk about your work. This is just an added bonus. Uh, at the end of the day, we have a uh, speaker. This year, we have the pleasure of uh, Dr. Patty Aguilar, presence. She's going to talk about her work um, prior and at UTMB, where she is a scientist. She's a virologist. Um, and her talk and her uh, abstract will be available here very soon. Um, okay, so final thing. Uh, once more, this is where we submit the abstracts. I don't remember if I said that before or not. If you're a comm student, you, you submit here. If you're a, a participant from another campus, you submit there. If you have any questions, please contact us. We are very thrilled to answer any of your questions. We want you to be involved. Absolutely, uh, there's nothing negative about participation here. It might be a little nerve wracking if this is your first time, but you need to get the first time underway so that uh, the next time will be easier. Uh, this, is, this looks fantastic on your resume. This is good professional development. The atmosphere is extremely supportive. Uh, I promise you that is the atmosphere. You will enjoy yourself. Um, it is free for all students, all students participating. It is free for audience members, for community members. There is lunch and uh, it is generously funded by the GCIC consortium. So thank you very much. I will finish with this little video. Thank you. I hope to hear from you. So let's see here.
Earth formed and destabilized one of its nearby neighbors, something that was quite large and would have been a planet in its own right if it survived to this day. The two hit each other in that Why sense. must I look pretty and pink to satisfy your desires? I am so tired of being drowned in your overwhelming fire. Must it be for the example, only color for me? The Songhai Empire, the Ghana Empire, and the Mali Empire. Prominent and highly intellectual people from amongst them ruled. I mean, that's a problem. I mean, why is the GPA not actually reflecting what we're learning? Uh, there, there shouldn't be that, that much disconnect well, there. Partially it's because we're putting their society society so so melted a large chunk of the planet. On the inside, of course, because no one shall no, ever know the pain. When, when this starts to cool, because there's a lot of Although it is meaningless to you, it means the world is One of the most obvious...